Alright, this is project 2.3.1a, mini train, part number one, the train body. First thing we're going to want to do is create a basic outline for the train. And I'm not dimensioning anything yet. So just three lines like that, then a center point arc, up like that, and 180 degrees. Come back, like that, up over, down, across, and down again. That's the main body of the train. Just a basic outline, now we're going to dimension it. This is 5.5 inches, and that looks pretty weird, but it won't for long. That's, oops, no, we don't want to do that. We'll want a dimension from here to there, and that's going to be 1.75 inches. That looks really weird, so because I have OCD, I'll just move that up. Um, this is 0.5 in radius. No, not 0.54, just 0.5. Uh, gonna dimension this. This is equal to 0.25. Same deal up here. And this is equal to uh, this is a little bit of mathematical computation because the spec sheet doesn't actually explicitly state this. So it's going to be 0.375 plus 0.23, no, 2.35 uh, minus, oops, left in a period there, minus, um, what we've already got, so that'd be 0.5 minus 1.75. Like that, and that's 4.475. Come up like that, 1.75. Actually, no, cancel. Let's do this instead. And this is 0.88. Uh, and this is 3.75, so that's correct. And that's the main body of the train, fully dimensioned. So let's extrude that two inches. And now we're going to create a 2D sketch on this face. First thing we're going to do is create a circle like that, centered from the center point here. And then we're going to dimension that to be... 0.25. I'm going to dimension it from up from that line. Uh, 0.375. And let's finish the sketch and extrude that in. Oops, no, not like that. Silly Autodesk. Uh, and that's going to be 0.5, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, 0.5. Uh, it might have seemed like a weird choice to do that first off, but now we're going to do that, project these, and then create a center point arc coming out 2.35 from there, bring it across just like that, and then create just create a couple of lines coming from that point up to there all the way across, like that, and then bring it down, like that, and then I believe if we finish sketch, we can extrude those in, yep, uh, and then we're just going to have it go through all, just like that, so now we've got that curved top to the train, uh, so let's go back into isometric view, now what we're going to want to do is go around to this corner, create a 2D sketch on this face, and create a circle. We're going to dimension this circle to be, drum roll please, 0.75 but times 2, oops, times 2. So that's 1.5, and I'm going to dimension the location. Let us see. Um, 
1.38 just like that and I believe this is already centered but I'm just gonna make sure yep that's already centered so then let's finish sketch and extrude this out um, just I guess to next Okay, you know, I'll just go a distance. Uh, that's gonna be 5.5, but minus the total width of that, which was 1.75. And is that correct? That is correct. There we go. Now we just need to create a couple of holes, and then we're home free. Let's create a 2D sketch on this face. I'm gonna create two holes. I mean, three holes. Sorry, like that over here and over here. Let's dimension these. These are going to all be dimensioned uh, 0.125, just like that. Um, so let's start with height. This is 0.625 from the bottom. This is. Hang on, just a moment. 0.125 away from the bottom. Same deal with this. This is equal to uh, two minus one point six two five. So point three seven five. Mental math is not my strong suit. Let's dimension the same on the other side. Point three seven five. Just like that. And that's already centered. Don't need to do anything on that. And then we'll extrude all three of these in. Other way. And that's way too long. So, 0.125. Just like that. And now we've got three holes down there. Alright. So now, what we're going to want to do is we've we're just going to create the axles, uh, the axle holes, so let's create a 2D sketch right there, and create two circles, just across from each other, and let's see, that's 0.25, same deal on the other side, and like that and this is going to be one inch <laughs> excuse me and the other is going to be one from this side like that and what's this going to be this is going to be 0.5 same deal on the other side finish sketch Extrude them both all the way to the other side. Just like that. So now we've got the holes for the axles in there. And now we just need to create a hole on the top. What we're going to want to do is create a work plane tangent to, uh, tangent to here and parallel to this surface. Let's create a 2D sketch on it and create a circle. I'm also going to project some geometry onto this face. So we're going to dimension this circle. This circle is 0.5 and is 0.88 from this end of the train. 
and position wise it's centered across here so that's one inch and then we finish the sketch extrude it downward by uh, 0.25 and that doesn't look right hold on we're gonna have to redo that extrude because let's have it cut this time and there we go we've got a hole on the train for the smokestack and if I'm not mistaken that appears to be it oh one last thing just uncheck visibility on that work plane so that's good but yeah that's the full train body